Hey, welcome to my part two tutorial on binary numbers. And in the last video, we went over what a binary number was, um, trying to give you an intuitive idea of a binary number. And in this video, we're going to go over operations you can do on a binary number. We're not yet going to go into the formal definition. That'll be in the next video. And that'll explain how you translate a binary number base 2 into base 10 uh, natural numbers. In this video, we're going to go over the basic math operations and how they apply to binary numbers. And by uh, basic math operations, I simply mean adding, subtracting, and multiplying binary numbers. So, I think the uh, most fundamental mathematics case, and it's probably the first one you learned in uh, kindergarten, or wherever you learned mathematics, was adding two numbers. So 2 plus 2, uh, 2 plus 2 equals 4, 3 plus 3 equals 9, um, 4 plus 10 equals 14. So this is all base 10. And if we move over to base 2, let's do 1 plus 1 in base 2. Um, so the issue is we can't write 2 out because we only have two symbols. We only have 0 and 1 to work with in base 2. So in this case, 1 and 1 is actually going to be 0, and it's going to cause a carryover. Um, so we have a carryover bit, and the carryover will give us 1. So in binary, 1 plus 1 is actually equal to 1, 0. So let's do um, another case. Let's do 1, 1, and 1, which is um, 3 plus 1. Now again, in the next video, I'll go over how to actually convert these uh, binary numbers into natural numbers, but don't worry about that right now. So we do 1 plus 1, like you do with uh, base 10. 1 plus 1 uh, is actually going to be, it's going to create a carryover, so we're going to carry that bit over. And then we add 1 and 1 here, and you can act like this is 0, if that helps you. So we end up with 1 and 1 and 0 and we end up with another carry bit. So it's zero, carry that bit over. These are all actually zeros, and we end up with one. So one, one plus one is equal to one, zero, zero. So let's do another example. Let's do one, zero, zero, and zero, one, one. And let's add these two. Now you notice this time, uh, I think this is a good method, actually pad your binary numbers so that uh, they have an equal number of digits. So the first one here has 3, and the second one has 3. That just makes the operations a bit easier. So we have 0 plus 1, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, and 1 plus 0, 1. So this is, you know, adding, adding binary numbers. Okay. Great. So let's go into the next case, which is subtracting or subtraction. And let's do the same thing. We'll start with um, base 10 and we'll move on to base 2. So start base 10. Let's do 3 minus 2 is 1, 4 minus 2 is 2, 5 minus 3 is 2. Now, we're not going to worry about um, the top number being smaller than the bottom number, uh, which would give us a negative number. And the reason is, is because binary number systems tend to use specialized um, special systems to describe negative numbers, and we're not going to go into that yet. So we're only going to deal with the case where you subtract two numbers and you end up with a positive number. 
So let's go ahead and do some simple binary or base 2 subtraction examples. So we'll do 1 minus 0, which is just 1. Um, how about 1, 0 minus 1, 0? So we end up with 0, and then 1 minus 1 is 0. Or how about 1, 1, 1 minus 0, 0, 1? And you can see it's 0, 1, 1. So for our final example, we're going to do something a bit harder. That's 1, 0, 0 minus 0, 0, 1. Now this is harder because we can't simply take uh, 0 minus 1 here. We have to actually borrow from the left side. Now, I want to show a similar example in base 10. Let's do 3, 0, 0 minus 0, 0, 1 because I want you to have an intuitive understanding of how you do this. So in this example, 300 minus 1, we have to borrow from the 3, end up with 2, which goes over to 10. <coughs> now the issue is that we still need uh, something here to subtract from 1, so we borrow from the 10 and we end up with 100. And so now we can subtract 100 minus 1, we end up with 99, and we were left with 2, so we get 299. So in this example, we have to borrow from the 1, 0. We end up putting 1 here, I'm sorry, 2. Uh, we, end up, we end up with 2 here. Problem is we still need something uh, to fill in this 0, so if we borrow the 2 and we end up with 4. So we subtract 4 minus 1 is 3. Uh, which in binary is 1, 1, and then we end up with 0 left. So that's our answer. Now, like I said, uh, knowing that 3 is equal to 1, 1, we'll go over in the next video. But for right now, I'll just take that as it is. I'd like to point out is the uh, carry system, um, how the carry system works. Uh, now, if you notice in base 10, we have the sequence of... Um, 10 and 100, and then base 2, we have the sequence 2 and 4 each time we do a carry. So if you see a pattern here, we start out with the base of the number. So in this case, we borrowed from 1, and we ended up with 2, and then we borrowed from this spot with a 2 and ended up with 4, ultimately. And here in 300, we borrowed from the 3, and ended up with 10, then we ended up with 100. So the actual uh, carry formula is uh, equal to the base of the number um, times n, where n equals the number of number of spaces carried. So in this example, we carried uh, make this a new color, we carried one, two spaces, and two, our base, uh, two squared is equal to four, which is how we got this number. And in base 10, we carried two times, so we have base 10 squared, so our carry is going to be equal to 100. That's a mathematical way of doing it. If you feel like the intuitive method is... Uh, the intuitive method of doing this is more reasonable, uh, by all means go ahead and do it that way. I am just trying to provide multiple ways of understanding the same problem. So the only other operation that's really um, used with binary is the multiplication operation, so multiplying. numbers. So if we start out with, um, let's do base 10. Multiplying is pretty simple. We just um, use the old move trick. So we do 300 times, I don't know, 20. So we start out, we do 0 times 0, 0 times 0, 0 times 0. We add a 0 as a placeholder. And we keep moving up, 0, 0, uh, 6, and now we have two zeros, and now we're at this number here, so 0 times 0 times 0. 
So our answer is zero six zero zero zero. So three hundred times twenty is six thousand. Now base two. we do the same uh, fundamental thing. So let's do um, let's do one zero zero times zero one zero. So we end up with zero 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 one zero zero as placeholders and uh, zero 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 which is equal to zero, 01000. Zero, zero, zero. So it's the same fundamental concepts. Uh, one, there's only one operation, one times one. There is no uh, one times two, it's just one times one and one times zero, zero. So binary multiplication is actually much simpler than its base 10 counterpart. So in the next video, we'll go over uh, base R number systems, um, some formal definitions, some new notations, and uh, hopefully you're starting to get a good understanding of binary numbers.